To anyone who still insists that this market is just about Amazon, Apple, Alphabet, Microsoft, Meta, NVIDIA, and Tesla, I urge you, think again. We've got so many winners right now, it's insane. Even on a reversal day, where the market opened up and only closed down, Dow dropping 31 points, as it be inching down 0.28%, NASDAQ climbing 0.42%. Oh, and you, you you want losers? Well, how about the Magnificent Seven? They got two of them. Apple's down 12% for the year. Tesla's down more than 28%, making it the worst performer in the entire S&P 500. Mag 7. But all sorts of other stocks are flying. I'm not just talking about Reddit or Astera Labs or the new Trump Media and Technology Group, which came public via a SPAC merger. Frankly, those actually even worry me. They seem like meme stocks of your with no large sellers, voracious, predatory buyers. Ironic, because GameStop reported a terrible quarter today, and it is getting clobbered. Now, I know the myriad bears don't want to hear this. Sometimes it feels like I'm walking down Jellystone National Park, not Wall Street out here. But look out. This rally does have legs, even if you're two down NASDAQ days where people are worrying about the fate of the bull. We're getting more companies involved to the point where the market no longer has a breath problem, even as some of this strength comes at the expense of the mega caps. Hey, well, here's an idea. Let's just go over the top dozen performers to SP 500 year to date. Because rather than a magnificent seven market, it's more like a kind of a dirty dozen, 12. <laughs> All right. The best performer? A company called Supermicro, which was just added to the SP up just over 260% for 2024. Now, this is a derivative of NVIDIA. So you could argue Supermicro counts as a mega cap or at least a mega cap pin action stock. That's not fair. This company provides the racks in the data center. It's more of a pick and shovel story for the cloud and artificial intelligence. It's more than just an offshoot of NVIDIA. And it was gettable. The charters we were using tonight nailed this thing perfectly not that long ago. Now, speaking of NVIDIA, yes, indeed, it's the second best performer in the SP for the year, even as it was down hard today as part of the broadening of the market. Remember, it opened up and then went down. That's going to be viewed as very negative for people. One day, though, does not a sell-off make, but I'm just trying to make a point about what's been working beyond the stock of NVIDIA. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.